Hello and welcome! I am Triple Helix and this is the amazing first person Assassin's Creed simulator thing. Uh, it's Mirror's Edge and it is absolutely incredible and the reason I'll be playing this today is because we've just hit a milestone. We've crossed 10 subscribers. In fact, we've uh, we've gone a little bit over that. Uh, over the course of one night, I gained about four, three or four, I think, which isn't much for, you know, a huge YouTuber, but for my small channel, that's actually sort of a landmark. And I can be playing this today. Also, I have some more good news for you guys. Oop, that was a bad jump. Also, more good news. Uh, I'm, now that I've, I've come up with a way to record for much longer periods of time, and I couldn't do that previously because I did not have the hard drive space for it, but now I can record for considerable amounts of time with very, very little loss to hard drive space. So, I can do a lot more edited videos, like my surgeon, like my first Surgeon Simulator video and one of the Amnesia videos that I did. Oh, I think they messed this up. Now I got it. So, Mirror's Edge. This is actually one of the few games that I can honestly say that I'm really, really good at. I used to... I, I actually used to play this game to death, and I have played it to death. I actually think I got this on the PC a little while ago when it was on sale on Amazon. And it was just... It was... First of all, it was really stupidly cheap, and I finished it about five or six times since then, just to make sure that I can still do the runs, because, uh, or not even to make sure that I can still do the runs, but just to see, like, how my skills have held up, because I used to do a number of speedruns in this game, and I actually used to hold some of the records. I used to be number one, I think, on three or four of them. At one point, I don't remember which ones, but I remember being, uh, pretty high up on some of them. Now... Definitely, I'm not doing a speedrun now because I just kind of want to take it in sort of a relaxing, sort uh, a, a leisurely playthrough of the game. And yes, this is probably going to be a full playthrough of the game, which is going to be definitely first for me. Because, considering how fast I normally play through this game, I can probably get through the whole thing in under two and a half hours. Whoops, I hit the wrong button there. Totally forgot that I remapped that button. Much better. There we go. And I'm getting shot a lot. Should probably get out of here. The, this game is all about free running, as you can see, like running away from things, and also there's some fighting in the game, and the fighting is absolutely horrendous. Uh, the whole game was sort of experimental, and there was no, it didn't really know what it was trying to be yet, so some parts really just didn't work, but other parts work really well. And you'll definitely see that. I also think that this game had a uh, sequel tease, that it might come out for Xbox One. And if this came out for Xbox One exclusively, I would cry because I'm not going to be owning one of those consoles. <sighs> Sigh. By the way, these are the cutscenes. They rendered them in this like really weird sort of comic booky art style, which didn't make any sense at all, considering that the entire game is pretty much just very minimalistic, sort of white with a few colors here and there. This the cutscenes are really colorful. It's just completely out of place, and I hated it. And now we're on to level two of like I think ten, including the prologue. So yeah, ten. Uh, it's not a long game if you know what you're doing, for sure. Evidenced by the fact that I can probably finish it in under two hours. But it's it's definitely uh, worth the playthrough, especially if you haven't already played this game. Also, I'm going to be completely ignoring the story, because the story is absolutely terrible. And it's just taking up precious time that I could be using playing the actual game, which is amazing. The story is just there in the background. It's sort of like, a, you know, one of your typical, oh, well, we don't know what the government's doing mean things and uh, government things and government with government and government stuff. So, oh, I'd mess that up. So, I'm going to be skipping that because the story wasn't very good. Boop the elevator. Hey, we're here. Also, I love how in the cutscenes you don't move like a real person, even though you actually do move like a real person when you're actually playing the game. By the way, some guy gets shot in there, and now the cops are after me, and I have to run away from them. Pretty typical. EA, if, you're, if any of you are watching this at EA... Please just, if, if you're going to make a sequel, and please do make a sequel, I absolutely love this game and I really want a sequel of it, but if you're going to make a sequel of it, uh, make the story at least somewhat engaging and not just a total cliche, but mainly make sure the running and all that stuff stays the same. Make make more open areas, make like a, uh, just, just, you know what you guys are doing, I'm sure. I trust you, I mean, it's not like you've ever done anything wrong, <laughs> Sim City or, uh, what was that other thing, Mass Effect 3, that was it. Ah, lag. That's another thing I can do. I can actually record now without any frame rate issues. So, this new way that I've done it, which is basically by taking the thing that I use to record my consoles and hooking it to my PC, basically. Uh, I can now record lag-free, or as lag-free as it'll get, 
PC gameplay. Wow, you just cannot aim, can you? You're not getting anywhere near me, even. Oh, I love this. Look at the light. So pretty. I also love how when it, when the helicopter shoots the... How there will be holes appearing when the helicopter isn't shooting it the whole time. I keep messing that up. Boop the elevator. And wait. Hey, what's this say? Oh, push the wrong button. Don't you hate it when you mean to jump and you punch by mistake? Uh, runner cursed... or uh, chased. That's his chase. Well, escaping from a murder scene. Oh, cool. They're getting popular. I wish I could be popular. I wish I could be on TV. Sigh. Out the door. I have to say, it feels really good to be playing this game in a not really speedrunny way. Because I'm so used to feeling like, oh no, I messed this bit up. Now I have to start the whole game. Now I have to start the whole level all over again. Not anymore. Now I can just play the game for my enjoyment. Oh, and here's a great thing for the speed for people who are trying to do speedruns. That thing right there, don't go in there. It's a trap. See, instead, go over here. It's faster. Because instead, you'd be walking down um, two or three things of stairs before you actually got there. And it just takes long. The developers make you think, oh hey, you should go that way because the thing is closing. Oh, and also, this is somewhere where you're supposed to fight. And then they sort of order these guys perfectly so you can just run away from them and not have to fight them. Because this game is seriously not made for fighting. I think there's one level of this game that plays really strongly around fighting, and that level's absolutely terrible. And I'll get there and probably die a lot. Oh no, helicopter, jump! Oh, I've missed. No, I didn't. I thought I missed. Leap, 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 leap. Slide, and slow motion. Crash through the glass that turned clearer as soon as I got near it. And land. Hey, more cutscenes! Uh, oh, I can't skip yet. It's still loading. Bring it on, level three. Ow. Okay, I, I see you've brought it. You can... Just please, let me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Oh yes, I love this. So as I'm running away and having, you know, some really tense action as I'm running away from people who are shooting at me, they said it was a great idea to put this, like, spinning the valve thing right here. And I understand, it's a basically a hidden loading a uh, hidden loading screen, but really, if you're going to do them, do them better than that. Don't make it so that you're running away, all adrenaline-fueled and everything, and then suddenly it's just like, stop dead and turn the pipe to load the more game and play and then climb through vents. Ugh. Run, slow motion, leap, spin around, look at the helicopter, and swear at it, because that's what I do. And then break my spine. Yeah, this game has slow motion. What modern game doesn't have slow motion? Honestly. Like, you can't expect a modern game to not have slow motion, right? That's like expecting a modern game to be more than a linear corridor shooter, right? Hmm. Is it just me, or did the helicopter literally just disappear from existence? I mean, one minute you could hear its, uh, its propellers, and then suddenly the next minute it's just like, Silence! It's gone! Maybe it didn't exist at all. Maybe I was just running away from a ghost. Maybe that's like the secret- Maybe that's like, uh, the real plot twist of this game. That secretly none of this is happening, and it's just a dream that Faith is having. Spoilers. I really love how fluid this is. Oh yeah, this. This place. Uh, I think I have to go right here. Jump, spin around, and up. There we go. And over. Also, for those of you who ever have a trouble with speedrun of this, here's what I'm going to say. Push that button and pause the game. Because when you push that button, there's a considerable gap between when you push that button and when the gate opens. And that's because it's a loading screen. And if you pause it, the game will load in the background as you pause, and it will stop the time, too. Otherwise, the time will continue. So, this will shave off a considerable amount of time, especially if you're doing this on consoles. If you're doing this on consoles, it takes a long time to load. So, just pause the game. It makes it easier. And there we go. The gate's open. Just like I said it would be. And this is one of my favorite parts of the game. This giant sort of sewer thing down here. It's, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. It's... My favorite thing about it is just that it's really... It's huge. It's... Oh, that was bad. It's sort of free-flowing. I love the parts in this game that are just really open and free-flowing. It makes it feel really nice. It makes you feel like a real free-runner. Which this game was definitely built around. It's not built around combat or story. It's built around free-running. So if you want to play a game that, you know, you can free-run in but doesn't just require the push of a button, play this game. And yes, I was talking about Assassin's Creed there if you didn't notice. I told you, this is the first-person Assassin's Creed simulator. I wasn't kidding. Leap. Oh, nearly messed up. Me nearly messed that up right there. That would have been a far fall. Oh, they've brought in snipers, I can see. Why would you shoot a mouse? Why would you do that? Alright, these snipers are dead. This is for the mouse! Oh, hey, look, people. Now, did they actually bother to render those people, or are they just, like, blooms? No, they actually bothered to render them. 
Oh, now they're looking at me. Ah, now they're shooting at me. Push the button, push the button, push the button. Go, 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 go. Phew, that was close. Wee, I love water slides. Pfft, ew, sewer water. Oh, yeah, I love this. I love how there's just like a massive pit of black nothingness in the middle of this sewer. I don't know where this leads or why it's here. It's just there. A massive sewer for whatever reason. Let's go with it. Boop the button. Alright, where do I go from here? This way. And now onto this elevator that didn't exist before. Hooray! Oh, hey, look. Another fun thing to spin. Joy. Alright, now we can get on with the actual game. Wee! I think I magnetized that, but I'll just go with it. Boop a button again. And now we wait here for about 30 hours for this thing to come up. Any day. Any day now. Whoop. I, I keep forgetting that jump is actually click and not punch. I feel like it has to happen to somebody else where you mean to jump but you actually punch, right? Where you're like playing basketball or some other sport that requires jumping and you accidentally end up punching people in the face rather than jumping to make a basket, right? Yeah, that's a thing. Oh hey, it's a plot device that we're supposed to be chasing. Now honestly, if you're actually trying to escape from me, why would you just run and stop? Why would you wait for me? If you wanted to get away, honestly, keep characters in video games, take a bit of advice here. If you want to get away from somebody, my first advice to you is not to stop and wait for them to catch up before you continue running. I really just magnetized that, there's no question. I'm not losing him, he's over here somewhere. Well, I've lost him. Yeah, good luck, where are you going to run off to? Oh, over there? Oh, you broke my thing. Oh, and you broke yourself. Yeah, he's dead. And that's another level done. Oh look, solar panels. Ah, I'm being blinded. Suck up the sun solar pan panels. You're not even doing your job. One of the huge compliments I have about this game is the fact that I'm playing as Faith and I feel like she actually is a person and she's not just like tits on a beanpole like every other female character in gaming to date except for maybe like two or three. If we're gonna have a female character in gaming, she has to be uh, the sexy, no, barely any clothes on sort of type. Or otherwise she's not a good character. What's become of gaming? Also, I love the RPGs that were basically, um, they have no, the girls are just wearing, like, a cloth over themselves, and that's going to give them as much protection as full iron armor. Because that's what happens in the real world. Setting us up with false hopes, fantasy games. Public enemy number one. Is there a number two? Who's that? Is that the other runner who was running away the other, who was running away a little bit earlier? Who I'm jealous of because they're famous. Jump. Oh, I love this. How you're just constantly right in front of them. Right near them. They're just right there, ready to get you. I really like that. That was a really well done bit. And now it's over. Sadly. Hey, rat. Rat. Did it just... I think it just climbed inside of that box from the side. I, I, don't, I didn't see a hole, so I think it just clipped through that box. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, more choppers. Why? Leave me alone. Why can't you just leave me to run? I like running. Running's a fun thing. Also, why are you sending an entire military after one person? It's one person. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, Faith, you always do that. Why? Swing parry. See, as you can see, the counter system, it's not really good because it's sort of like you need to hit it at the exact right time, and that's not really... When you... The time that you think would be the exact right time is just a little bit too early. Hooray, more elevators. Boop. Wow, talk about boring. Just white trees everywhere. I wish the modern day looked like this. I'd be happier to live in it. Ooh, the Daily City. I'm sure that that's a totally reputable and honest news network that doesn't stretch the truth or lie in any sense of the word. And I'm definitely sure that it's not picking on Fox News, considering the sort of environment this game is. Oh, and I've nearly messed that up. I guess that's what I get for insulting Fox News. Stop shooting at me, you stupid chopper. I was just going for my morning jog, and then you started shooting at me for no reason. Why? Jump. Kick. Bye-bye. And splat. You know, I'm comparing him to this other that van, and he is actually pretty darn big. Well, that van is just really tiny. It's probably like a smart car or something. Probably every car in the future is a smart car. Just like one of those little things that whenever there's like a strong, or not even a strong wind, whenever there's like a small little gust of wind, they get blown over on their sides. True story. Leap over. Okay, good. 
I made it over and didn't die. It's better than I normally do. Just run over here. To this. Door. And kick it down. Yeah, you could just run through it and normally hit it, but that slows your momentum. So, I just punch it. With my feet. Oh, hey, look, it's a guy who has a beard, I think. He might not have a beard, that could just be the light. His eyes have beards, too. Huh. Oh, and Faith's grown a beard. Awesome. Everybody has a beard. It's beard day. Oh, this is the fourth chapter, I believe. Like, the actually fourth chapter, not in not including the prologue. And I think that rat just ran and killed itself on the electric fence. And I've nearly fallen to my death there. It's going about as well as it normally does. Oh, I thought I'd gotten away from these things for a while. Guess not. Spin the thing. Can I, like, mash you to spin it faster? No, that's not a thing I can do. Ah, oh, sadly. Jump! That is a pretty sturdy light, honestly. Oh, hey, look. People that I'm supposed to be paying attention to, but I'm not because the plot wasn't important in this game. And I've completely knacked that jump up. Oh, hey, stairs. I wonder what this is going to lead to. Oops! Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I can fly! Oh, no, I can't. Ow. Oh, so this is a fun boss fight. Check this out. Basically, what you need to do... Press the counter button. Now. And that's it. Uh, and then you get shot by some guy, and now we have to go chase that person. Yeah, if you want to play the plot of this game, just go buy it yourself. Ouch. Shotguns! Oh, don't go back out there, Faith. Ouch. Can I just not go anywhere without breaking things? Or going into vents? Because vents are so important. Hey, look, a door. Kick it in. Ah! Well, that was sure weird. Ah, I'm getting shot. It's okay, this is a modern game. I have, re I have, you know, the automatic leg grower backer where all I have to do is hide from bullets for a few seconds and I'll heal. Out of order, override switch in my office. The janitor. Okay, this piece of paper, it's not rendered properly, guys. It's, it's out of order, unless he cut this thing. Did he cut it? I don't know. He's also written in marker for some reason. I don't really know why. Woo! That was close. Whoop! That was even closer. Wow, this shirt looks a lot like the inside of my computer. Get it? Because I have so many fans in this damn thing. Duck. Duck. Jump. Over here. Jump, flip around, and land. And I stopped. Yeah. You're supposed to end up all the way back there. I can get off there because uh, this happens. Ow. So yeah, you're supposed to end up back there, run all the way back here, and just barely make it. Instead, you can just use that red sign and get here way faster. So for those of you who are doing speedruns, you could have ended the level about 30 minutes ago. More doors to boop. And... Boop more doors. Oh, and hooray, another elevator. Because this is what that game needed right now. Oh, is this the part where I actually have to fight? Oh no, this is the part that I can just run past all of them. Because what I do is I just run over here. Over this direction. Up this, spin around, grab this pipe, which is smaller than the other one, instead of getting the really obvious one. And then come up here before getting shot to death. Eep, beep, beep, beep. Magnetize it to this thing, as I always do, and I'm safe. Ooh, hey, look, people. I'm gonna boop them, because I can. And because I'm gonna go for speedruns here. Ow, boop. It's too for shooting me. Oh my goodness, his hand! His hand just, like, completely spun around and came out of the wall. Oh, that's disgusting. Ooh, modern art. Wait, do they paint... Do they, like, paint over this painting? Like, do they paint the wall over this painting? Oh, no. Well, that's some really nice attention to detail right there. I mean, look at that. There's, like, little paint marks. Sort of. I love this game. I also love elevators. That's a lie. Thank goodness, I'm in the mall. Now I can actually, like, relax a little bit. Not exactly my idea of relaxing. Oh, so here's a genius move. If you're getting shot at, the best thing to do, by far, is to sit and wait in the glass elevator. Because this is bulletproof glass. Well, not so bulletproof anymore. These windows are really dirty. Boop. Try to 360 no-scope me. Boop the boar. Is this the- Oh, yes, this is the part that I remember. I really hate this part. Get up here. 
Slow motion. Swing. Ooh, nearly messed that up, but it's okay. Boop you in the face. And down you go. Now get rid of his gun. Quickly make it over here. Over this little fence thing, and I'm in safely. You know, I wonder if this is like the lost season of Breaking Bad, where this is their warehouse and this is just all meth. And they send in like a runner to go after it and get it. AMC, I swear if you steal my idea, I'm going to sue you. Hello there. Yes, I'd like to order a pizza. Oh, this isn't the pizza place? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Boop the button. Boop the door. And then boop that door. Boop that door a little bit too hard, I think. Boop. 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 Ding. Open. Close. Open. Close. I'm entertained by anything. Well, that degraded quickly. Oh, this this part is like my favorite part of the game. Also, you just found out that pretty much like the entire government's watching after us, which is, you know, creepy. All that stuff. But we here we go, my favorite part of the game. Uh, this part you're being chased by those guys behind me who are like anti-runners. They basically chase after you and they can free run just like you can. So for once you're running away from people who can actually catch up to you. And it's like and it's really, really tense and amazing. And I wish that more of this game was like this. I think it's only a few set parts of it that are like this and it makes me sad because I really love this idea where you're just running away from people who are constantly right behind you and about to get you it's really tense and really fun so EA for making a second game more of this this is a lot of fun train here I come ouch hey look a plane it's a pretty small plane honestly Oh, yay, this level. Yeah, this level is probably the most annoying level in the game by a considerable margin. Mainly because there's a lot of annoying parts in it, but especially because of this game, this part of the level focuses a lot on fighting. Which, you know, again, this game was not made for fighting, it was made for running. So, when you do have to fight, which this game, which this level forces you to do a lot, it can get pretty boring and annoying. And it starts right off by putting you in the back of a pickup truck for about 30 hours. Hooray. Thank goodness we're finally here. I'm gonna have to boop you and shoot you just because I'm so annoyed. There we go. Oh, this part. This part is one where you actually have to fight. Uh, it doesn't go so well, as you can clearly see. There we go. Brought that back. Should be another guy, like, right here about to kill me. Yep, here he is. And I've gotten hit. Uh, hide. Boop him. Get out of the way quickly before the other guy shoots me. And then open fire on him. Go down. There we go. And you may be wondering, why do you have to fight them and not just run away? Well, because you have to open this door. And knowing how fast Faith... How fast? How fast Faith turns valves, it doesn't go so well. And then, by that point, you probably have... You probably would have been filled with bullets and practically dead. If you hadn't died by some random miracle, you would be very dead now, as you have to spin a second one. This is another reason this level is really annoying. There's an excessive amount of these doors which you have to open. Why does this level even exist? Why does the person who made this level still have a job, EA? Oh no, this part. This part can actually be really annoying if you don't know- whoops. If you don't know how to go about it. What you do is you spin up here, get- grab onto that, spin around and go onto here slowly, ever so slowly, inch your way in the other direction. Any day, Faith. Seriously, just make it over there. There you go. Now, instead of going for the obvious and going over there, which you'll miss, go right about there. And she doesn't grab it. Now, that's the reason this, level, this part is really annoying, is because you think that she would grab it, right? No, she won't. So basically, you have to do this over and 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 over again until she hopefully grabs it. And not only that, to add insult to injury, you have to like shimmy on this thing every time, which, you know, is part of the over and over and over part. But that's so annoying. I just want to go on. I, just wanna, I want to play the game. Let me play the game. Seriously. Oh, come on, Faith. Just please grab it. Oh, my goodness. She finally made it. Thank goodness. Oh, I hate this part so much. Now, 
You just have to hope that you don't mess this up too. You have to wall run there. Then don't get stuck, Faith. Wall run here. Jump over there. Make it. Thank goodness this part is done. I hate this so much. Die, whoever made it. Please. I EA, really. Whoever made this level, fire them so hard. Really. Oh, there is one redeeming feature of this level, and uh, you'll get to see it as soon as I open this door. Thank you. Really? No! I messed that up horribly. Uh, I wasn't supposed to jump there. But I did, because I'm an idiot. Remember that boss fight earlier in this game? Where I just had to get the counter button? This is sort of different. Ow, I got kicked in the face. This boss fight is just so much fun, because it's like, it's simple, and it's smooth, and it's just a lot of fun to pull off. So, instead of just hitting the counter button, you punch them repeatedly, and then you hit the counter button. And then she runs away. I'll get you! No! How come I can't spin doors that fast? It's not fair. I have to slowly turn them. Ugh. Okay, commence the chasing again. Never mind, we have another thing to spin. Just kill me now, please. Can't touch me. Ah, well, yes you can. Boop you in the throat, boop you in the face, and then ultra boop you in the face again. And I win. Oh, thank goodness we're back outside and out of that horrible, horrible level. Oop, anti-runners again. Leap. And now, oh, climb, 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 climb. Ah, Taze. And now, instead of being in that just one small area, he's really close to me! Jump, Faith! Instead of just being in that one small area, now I'm running away from anti-runners on a roof. Or a few rooftops, I guess. Not just one roof. They're going to kill you. And your family. Do you have family? I don't even know if you have family. I think they were killed in something plot related. Leap and land safely. And then head to this red door because I have to move the story along. Oh, hooray! Elevators! I thought, you know, I thought we were going to be out of these. Thankfully not. I get to ride another elevator. Boop the door. And hooray! More elevators! Thank goodness these aren't gone. It's not like we haven't been waiting for these to go away forever. Oh, the atrium. I absolutely... This is probably my favorite... Even though I said the last thing was like my favorite part of the game. This is probably my favorite part of this game. But this level, honestly, it's just absolutely incredible. It's... Fl it flows really nicely. It... Just everything about it is incredible. Oh, come on, Mouse. Don't die on me here. This is a horrible place for you to die. Come on, Mouse. You can hold on. You got this. You really don't got this! Well, I guess we get to do this all over again now. And then, of course, at the very end of it, one of my least favorite things about this game event. It couldn't have ended in a spectacular way. It had to end in a venti sort of way. Sigh. Oh, hey, it's this room. Uh, for those of you wondering, if you're not trying to do the speedrun, if you just want to get down here, here's an easy way to do it. And respawn at the bottom. Pretty simple. Way easier than actually trying. The route is clear, they said. Little do they know. Boop. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, right? Ooh. Whoops. Oh, hey, this part. Easy way to get through this. Go down here. Over to this. Pass this guy, because he's a fool. Down here, roll so you don't get hurt. Land down here, also roll so you don't get hurt. And then just leisurely stroll out the front door and get shot repeatedly before the game loads. And here we are. The last chapter with a plane that's flying in a weird way, leaving a weird smoke trail. But I'll just ignore that. The last level. The ultimate test of our free runniness and our ability to not suck at free running. Our ultimate test of being an ultimate assassin. Oh wait, wrong game. Our ultimate test of being a parkouring, a parkouring badass. There we go. Ooh, that's a... 
Oop, I remember what this is. Get under, get under, get under. Hide. I have to admit, it's a pretty piss weak sounding explosion. Normally you'd expect explosions to be like ear deafening. Sure did the number on the door though. Hi. Bye. Why do I keep booping doors so hard? Open the elevator quick! Get in the elevator quick! Oh, finally, an elevator is a safe haven. Oh, hey, cutscene. Ah, I've been punched. And then I shoot some people and then stuff happens. Honestly, I'm not- I told you like- I told you a million times before, if you want to know the plot of this game, just... Buy it. Or look up a plot summary of it on Wikipedia or something. Oh yeah, this part. This is fun. Hit the button. Then quickly run over here and hide and wait for the elevator to open. Any day now elevator, any day now elevator. There we go. And then run in here and boop the button and wait. Prepare to be taken into custody. Uh, no, I don't think so. I've come this far. I'm not just going to stop now and be taken into custody without at least trying to fight back. Oh, here's another great example of just a giant black abyss in the middle of something. Also, why have it in this? I mean, I could sort of understand a sewer because that's where all the water goes, but... Why in the middle of this? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just nitpicking. Oh, hey, it's this part. I wonder if I can pull this off flawlessly. Well, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Here we go. Over here. Jump. Down. This way. Up. Spin around. Grab. Jump over to here. Land on it. Up here. Run. Wall jump. Over to here. And out. Yep, I did that pretty flawlessly. Ah, okay, didn't expect that fall there. It's okay. I rolled in time. Oh, yeah, this bit's fun. So, you basically need to destroy one of these boxes, these server boxes in each of these rooms, which you can only do by having the other people shoot it or you shooting it yourself. Uh, it doesn't go so well. And this is just to open a door up top. And it's especially hard considering that there are people shooting at you from practically everywhere. There we go. Those are all done. Nope. You're not allowed to have that. Boop you in the face and take your gun. And kill this guy because I'm a jerk. There we go. I'm getting shot a lot. Getting shot a lot. Getting shot a lot. Okay. I made it. Hey, I think we're coming up to the end of the game. Ah, uh, yes we are. Uh, wait. Nope. Sorry guys. This is, I'm going to have to end the video here. It tell, it's telling me to stop. So, contest going on. Read the description for more information. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, this is Triple Helix, signing off. Now I'm just messing with you guys, of course we're gonna go finish the game. We can't have made it this far and then just let something that tells us stop to, you know, make it stop. Pfft, that's absurd. Oh yay, unskippable cutscene, I forgot about this. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back and let this play out. Ugh. Oh, spoiler alert, he isn't dead. Knowing how this game ends, that is absolutely horrendous rating. Okay, final boss, here we go. Check this out. Run there, slide under this, run in the direction of him, jump, leap, kick, he's dead. And that's it. For everything that you do in this game, that's the final boss. That's the ending. And now we're falling to our death. Oh, but I love this part, though. Watch this. She's gonna go sliding out, and now she's... A thousand feet away on that building over there. That makes sense. Leap Faith. Come on, you gotta get her. Get her. Catch her. There you go. And... Boosh! Oh, this game is amazing. So... EA, make a sequel to this game. Please don't make it Xbox One exclusive. I would cry. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys... For... Bringing me to 10 subscribers... And I think almost 900 views where, you know, I'm happy to make this stuff for you. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed all the usual stuff that I normally say. And until next time, this is Triple Helix signing off.